Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this video, I will draw this figure in AutoCAD. This figure looking like difficult, but once you practice on it, it's very easy. Let's start. So first, I will make this portion. The dimension is given. So the radius of this circle is given, 22 mm, and the radius of this circle is also 22 because this portion is symmetrical. And the center distance is also given, 28 mm, from this center toward this center. Let's draw. Then you will understand. Click on circle arrow, center radius. Make a circle of 22 mm radius. Then select this circle, enter CU from the keyboard for copy and copy this circle from this center point towards this side, enter distance 28 mm. Now press escape and press L from the keyboard for line. Now join the quadrant of these two circles. Es escape. Now press space to repeat the command. Click on this quadrant and click on this quadrant. Press escape. Now press TR, double enter from the keyboard and trim all this portion. Escape. Now I will make this portion. So for this portion, the radius of this circle is given 12 mm, and this length is given 19 mm. It means that the diameter of this circle should be 19. I will erase the ink to see clearly. So this radius is 12 mm, and this diameter is 19 mm of this circle. Let's draw it. First, click on circle arrow, then center radius. Make a circle of 12 mm radius. Again click on circle arrow, center diameter, now make a circle of 19 mm diameter. Now if we see this distance is given from this center point towards this side, this distance is given 14 mm. Let's draw this line and then I will fill it this portion. The filler radius is also given 3 mm. So L enter for line from the keyboard and click on the quadrant of this circle. Make a line of 14 mm distance, enter, press escape. Now press space to repeat the command, click on the quadrant of this circle, make a line of any length towards this side, click and now make a line of any length towards downward side and escape. Now I will make this fillet first. So the fillet radius is given 3mm, enter F from the keyboard for fillet, click on radius, enter radius 3mm, now click on this line and click on this line. Now I will move this line and this fillet radius to the end of this line. So first select this line and this fillet, rad fillet radius, press M from the keyboard for move, enter. Now move from this point towards this end point and enter TR, double enter, trim this portion, this is extra portion and this portion, escape, now erase this line. Now I will mirror this portion, so first select it. And press M from the keyboard for mirror then click on this center point and this center point click on now now press tr double enter and trim this portion escape so this portion is exactly made according to the given dimension now i will make these two circles for this first i will find the center point of these two circles so this distance is given 108 mm from this center towards this center so from this center line from the circle of this center towards this center, 108 mm distance is given. Let's first look at the center point of these two circles, then drawing these two circles. Click on line, then make a line, click on line, then make a line from this center point towards this side, 108 mm enter distance, escape. Now I will draw these two circles. So the diameter of this circle is given 28.52 after the remaining and 28.57 before remaining. So we will enter this diameter. Rimming is a finishing process. So we will enter this diameter. And the diameter of this circle is also given, which is a 50 mm diameter. Half diameter is 50 mm. Let's draw these two circles, 28.57 and 50 mm diameter. Click on circle arrow, center diameter. Make a circle of 50 mm diameter. Again, click on circle arrow, center diameter. Now make a circle of 28.57 diameter. Now erase this line. Now I will make uh, this key. So the key dimension is also given. This is the length of the key, 6.3, this distance 6.3, and 3.15 is this distance, vertical distance. So if we divide 6.3 by 2, it becomes 3.15 again. So I will make a line vertical and then offset by 3.15, because if we divide 6.3 by 2, it also becomes 3.15. Let's draw the new will understand. Click on line, then make a vertical line towards downward side, press escape. Now enter O for offset, offset by 3.15 mm distance, 
click on this line click over this side now tr double enter and trim this portion and erase this line now again in trail from the keyboard for line now click on this point make a vertical downward line of 3.15 enter now a horizontal line of 6.3 enter now vertical upward line of 3.15 enter please escape now select this line and erase it tr double enter and trim this portion escape so this keyway is exactly made according to the given dimension now i will make this circle so the radius is given 38 that's right click on circle arrow center radius now make a circle of radius 38 mm enter now i will make this portion so from this center towards this center the distance is given 54 mm from this center towards this center this distance is given 54 mm and from this horizontal line this angle is also given 45 degree but between this line and this line and after making this line then we will offset this line by 5 that's right then you will understand so first making a line of 54 and by 45 degree click on line then click on the center point and enter distance 54 now press tab for degree now enter degree 45 enter press escape now I made this line this line this line so we will offset this line by 5 I will erase the ink to see clearly this line by 5 to locate the center point of this circle this circle so let's opt, offset it by 5 mm enter O for offset now enter offset distance 5 mm click on this line click towards this side so this is the center point of this circle the radius is 10 mm that's right click on circle arrow center radius and make a circle of 10 mm radius enter now if we see this figure so from this offset line from this offset line I will make a line which is perpendicular towards this line towards this line that's right then you will understand so first I will stretch these two lines click on this line and stretch in this direction make sure that the degree is keep same click scap now click on this line click on this and stretch but make sure that the degree doesn't disturb click escape now l enter from the keyboard for line and click on this point and make a perpendicular line towards this line escape press space to repeat the command click on this point and make a vertical uh, a perpendicular line towards this side escape now enter tr double enter trim this portion this portion and this portion this portion and erased this line now this fillet radius is also given with this circle so the fillet is 12 mm with this circle let's make this fillet enter it from the keyboard for fillet now click on radius enter fillet 12 mm now click on this circle and click on this line now this is not joined with this R so if we see the figure first I will erase the ink so if we see the figure so this edge this in point is connected straight towards this line let's connect it then you will understand click on line then click on this in point and make sure that it connect straight towards this point escape so we will exactly mirror this portion according to this now I will make this fillet so this fillet radius is also given 90 mm but this fillet is not with this circle this fillet is with this middle circle with this 50 mm diameter circle so click on circle arrow then click on tangent radius click on this circle first I will zoom out click on this circle and click on this circle enter radius 90 mm enter then tr double enter and trim this portion and this portion now I will make this portion then I will trim the extra lines so for this the degree between this horizontal line and this line is given which is 30 degree then we will offset this line by 12 plus 5 17 mm distance let's draw this line first and the length of this line is 58 mm from this center point this length is 58 mm towards this point so this portion and this portion is different because this length is 54 and this length is 58 let's write enter L for line then from the center point enter distance 58 now press step for degree enter degree 30 mm enter press escape now this offset distance is given 12 plus 5 it becomes 17 enter O for offset 
enter centenium offset distance click on this line click on this side so this is the center point of this circle the radius is also same 10 mm like this let's make this circle click on circle arrow center radius make a circle of 10 mm radius enter now erase this line now i will follow the same procedure as we've done here so now i will make a line 5 mm offset from this line towards this side and the line should be perpendicular from this line towards this side let's write int enter over offset from keyboard enter 5 mm offset distance click on this line click towards this side escape now stretch these two lines but make sure the, the degree should be keep same escape now click on this line stretch this line towards this side escape enter l for line now click on this side make perpendicular line escape press space to repeat the command click on this side click on this side escape tr double enter trim this portion this one this one and this one now erase this line and now we will make this fillet so this fillet is also 12 mm let's enter 12 mm enter it from the keyboard for fillet and click on radius enter 12 mm now click on this line click on this circle now i will follow the same procedure for this portion enter l for line click on this endpoint and join with this point escape now the radius of this arc is also given 90 mm but with this middle circle let's write click on circle arrow 10 10 radius and click on this circle and click on this circle enter radius 90 mm now tr double enter trim this portion this portion this portion and this portion and escape so this portion is exactly made according to the given dimension now i will make this portion for this first i will make this uh, this circle so the uh, circle radius is given 32 mm i will erase the ink so this circle radius is given 32 mm first draw this circle then enter this arc radius 76 mm so click on circle arrow center radius and make a circle of 32 mm enter now this arc radius is 76 mm let's make it click on circle arrow 10 10 radius and then click on this circle and this arc enter radius 90 mm now repeat the same procedure for this portion click on circle arrow 10 10 radius click on this circle and this arc enter radius 90 mm enter now press tr double enter trim this portion and this portion and now i will make this line the tangent line so enter l for line now enter tan from the keyboard to tangent this line and now click on this circle and now again enter tan for tangent click on this circle anywhere it will automatically tangent escape now again l for line enter tan for tangent click on this circle and again enter tan enter click on this circle it will automatically tangent now press tr double enter from the keyboard to trim the extra portion this portion this portion this can so this object is exactly made according to the given dimension thanks for watching if you facing problem then comment below i will answer you